my book, The Art of Fearing Heartbeats, has many different layers. On one hand, I think it's a very romantic love story, but there's much more to it. It is set in Burma, in Asia. It's a very exotic, very remote country. And it's not just because the setting is exotic, but the culture, Buddhism, the religion, also plays a very important part in the book. And then it is a search. There's a daughter, Julia Wynn, she's looking for her father, who had just disappeared and she felt very close to him. So she starts to look for him and uh, the only uh, clue she has is a letter her father wrote 50 years ago, a love letter to a woman and there's an address on the envelope so she tries to find this woman hoping to find her father. So it also deals with the question how well do we know our parents? And she learns a lot about her father she didn't know and at first she is shocked but then in the end I think she feels probably closer than she ever did to him. And I had been to Burma many 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 times and I just first time was in 95 and it was very exotic because nobody went to Burma in 1995 and I fell in love with it. I spent three weeks there and it was so different and fascinating that I, I knew that my first no novel had to take place in Burma and I've been back ever since I don't know 20 times. I've always wanted to be a novelist uh, even as a young student I wanted to write novels and then I took a long detour I became a journalist but I never I forgot that dream that I wanted to write novels and then at the age of 37 I decided now I have to give it a try otherwise I will be a granddad telling his grandchildren you know your granddad almost became a famous novelist so I gave it a try and I don't know why I decided on this topic or whatever sometimes people ask me how do you get the idea and I always say the ideas get me I think it's a human dream to be loved unconditionally and to be able to love unconditionally. And for me as an author that's fascinating. You write a novel and it becomes successful in your own language but then it's translated and translated and now it's being translated in almost 30 languages and wherever it has come out it's a it's a big success. And no matter what religion the readers have, what language they speak, what color their skin has. So it is really is something very universal and that must be the universal theme of unconditional love. I just, um, I'm writing a movie script, uh, this will turn into a movie, The Art of Hearing Heartbeats, so, and I write the script myself. And then I also wrote two books on China, two novels, that will be a trilogy, so the first, the third book of the trilogy, and then I finished a sequel to this one, and there will be also a third book on, on Burma and of, about Julia.